So guys, today Litecoin Cash forked, it forked from Litecoin and it was added to the Yobit exchange. This isn't an exchange that I've actually got an account with. Uh, it's apparently going to be going in a few other exchanges, but right now as I speak, um, it's only on Yobit. Now I checked this this morning and it launched, it was just over a dollar when it went on to the market. The deal being that people that had Litecoin were getting 10 Litecoin Cash Coins. So it was just at a dollar and I wasn't sure where the price was going to go so I didn't, I didn't invest anything, I wasn't sure about where it was going to go. But I just checked it there and you know about 9 o'clock this morning it was about a dollar or so and 4 o'clock in the afternoon UK time it is now around three dollars so it's trebled in less than a day, um, just in an afternoon. So it seems to be performing quite well. Uh, Litecoin Cash isn't an official fork from Litecoin as far as it's not supported from the original developers but it does claim to have 90% less fees um, and that alone I think is going to attract a lot of people to use it instead of Litecoin because I mean the attraction of Litecoin was always the fact that um, you know the fees were less than Bitcoin so for Litecoin Cash to reduce those fees further not that it's a game changer but it definitely uh, changes things up a little bit uh, you know, it doesn't flip things over to the, to the point that Litecoin is worthless. But um, I do think that we may actually see the price of Litecoin cash going up a little bit more. I'm not sure what it's going to level out. But um, it's interesting. These forks are quite interesting because the price of any currency, any well, especially in the cryptocurrency world, is, is based on what people have and what they're willing to sell it at and what people are willing to buy at. That's how, you know, the market determines the price. But we also have to look at the practical applications of these coins. And if a coin comes out that does everything that this coin does, but it's got less fees and it's faster transactions, then how does that work long term? Everyone might have the more expensive coin now, but if you're actually going to be using these coins for, tra for transactions, for currency, then you'd like to think that the market would start swaying towards the coins that um, have reduced fees. I'm not sure where it's going to go. Um, but I'll leave a link to the article that I saw about the launch. It explains a little bit more about it. You can check it out. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. So please do leave a comment below. And I'll do my best to reply to you. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll speak to you all very soon. Take care.